Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV with another Photoshop quick tip. If you want to create long solid drop shadows for text, logos, or any shapes that have hard edges, I'm going to show you the quickest and easiest technique to achieve this effect. This tutorial is for users that already know how to set text and are familiar with basic Photoshop functions. For this example, we'll use text. First, make your foreground and background colors white and black respectively. After you type out your text, drag it up to make room for the drop shadow. Make a copy of it by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Double click the bottom text to highlight it and invert the colors by clicking this icon. This will make the bottom text color black. Open your Move tool. Hide the top text, which reveals the black text under it. Open your Transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command T. At the top, in the Angle field, type in the degree you'd like your angle of your drop shadow to be. Press Enter or Return to accept it. We'll create the long drop shadow from this layer. Press and hold Alt or Option plus the down arrow on your keyboard, which automatically copies multiple layers as it moves the black text down one pixel at a time. I'll release after it makes approximately 150 copies. It may take a few seconds for Photoshop to process all of them. Merge your copies into one layer by scrolling to the bottom of the Layers panel and shift-clicking the bottom text layer. This highlights all of the visible text layers. Press Ctrl or Command E to merge them. Make the top text visible. We'll rotate the drop shadow back to its original angle. To do this, open back your Transform tool and go to the Angle field. Type in the opposite angle you typed in earlier. For example, since I typed a degree of 45 earlier, I'll type in minus 45 now. Then, I'll press Enter or Return twice. Before we reposition the shadow, go to View and make sure Snap is not checked. Now, just move the shadow in position. If you want to make the shadow longer, no problem. Make a copy of the shadow layer and position it below the other shadow. Then, merge the two shadow layers. You can reduce its opacity or change its color. To change its color, double-click the layer to open its layer style window. Click Color Overlay and the color box. Pick any color you want. Have fun exploring with gradients too. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.